did you have a particular inspiration? Like, was there one vlogger that you watch all the time that kind of made you want to vlog, or was this there just an array of them? Feeling ko po gusto ko lang talaga ng video ng bata ako, mga ganon. And then yun start ko manod ng mga YouTube videos, napamalat ko si Kong TV. Yan, so siya talaga yung pinaka naging inspiration ko. He's the common one. He's probably the most common person that people say is their vlogging inspiration amongst the the guests that I have. That's really interesting. Did he give you this feeling na kung kaya niya parang kaya mo din or something? He has this, I guess, effect that he just seems like very simple and mm. relatable, no? Sobra. And tsaka sobrang down to earth niya po. Sobrang humble din na tao. Yeah. Have you met him before? No. You've never met him never, before? Never, never. He is a unicorn. It's actually, <laughs> it's really hard to get to him. Mm-hmm. Hindi ko pa siya na-meet ever. Really? I mean, a lot of people haven't. Everyone, everyone asks him, like all the biggest shows ask him to guess, uh-huh. and he just doesn't really care to, or so bring introverted siya. Like he's super, super shy. Like, akala mo, he's super loud and um, high energy, because that's what his like vlog persona is like, and that's what I expected. I remember when I first met him, but yeah, he, he's very, very shy, oh, super very introverted. Shy in person. A lot of YouTubers actually tend to be that way. The, mm-hmm. the loud and energetic ones on camera are very quiet. For example, po ako, pag nakita ko po kayo, super nakakahiya, nakakastarstock, parang ganun. I mean, to us, too. <laughs> We're like the same. <laughs> Parehas tayo, eh, di ba? I guess I've just been in, in the game longer than you, mm-hmm. yun lang. When you started vlogging, did anyone like discourage you or were you really scared? Yes, marami na discourage sa akin. Uh, siguro nung nag-start ako, nung hindi pa nakikita ng mom ko yung opportunity ng pag-YouTube and stuff, uuwi ako ng Pinas kasi nag-aaral po ako ng time na yun. So, gusto ko umuwi ng Pinas para i-pursue yun, pero ayaw kong payagan ng mama ko. Well, naiintindihan ko yung mama ko ng time na yun kasi syempre, i-risk mo yung pag-aaral mo, uuwi ka ng Pinas. Parang nasa fourth year high school na ako ng time na yun. So, hindi siya, hindi siya sobrang supportive nung time na yun sa akin. Pero naiintindihan ko. Pero nung nakita niya na parang ito talaga yung love na ginagawa ko, and then sabi niya sa akin, pag tinapos ko yung pag-aaral ko, ili-let go niya ako. So, tinapos ko yung pag-aaral ko, nilet go niya ako, and sinuportahan niya na ako. Kasi nakita niya nandun yung heart ko. In California, in the U.S., at least with my family and, you know, the people mm-hmm. there, the culture there, it's like when, once you turn 18, you're just free. You're on your own. Did, was that kind of the same with you? No, because both of my parents are Filipino, so okay. not sila like yung let go. But it still is a pretty big deal that they allowed you to mm-hmm. go to the Philippines alone, mm-hmm. or did they go with you? Alone. That's like a really big dream to go out and like finish yes. school it's and then like just. It's like risk yung life mo sa US dito. And I can only imagine what they were thinking that you know you go through all this school only to just go back and, and create videos and, and hope that you can go viral and build an audience. What made you believe that you can build an audience? Like what gave you this confidence? Because of course there's thousands and maybe millions of people who think they can do it and everyone thinks they can do it, but it's a very, very small selected group that are able to really push through and, and gain this audience. What gave you that confidence? When you put your mind into something and you really like it, and yun, nandun talaga yung puso mo. Feeling ko, kaya mo you talaga. You just really believed? Yeah, yeah. It, cliche man sabihin na parang yeah. maniwala ka lang, parang i-risk mo. Pero yun talaga yung ginawa ko. Wala ko, like, wala nagsabi sa akin na, hindi, for sure, kami magbibigay sa'yo ng ganito pag nag-stay ka. Wala naman pong ganun. It's just, naniwala lang talaga ako. Ang yabang mong pakinggan, pero dapat talaga magtiwala ka sa sarili mo eh. And you, you really know yourself eh. Alam mo yung kaya mo sa so hindi so kaya nagtiwala po ako kumakanta ako sabi ko may kakaratingan to for sure pa nagpursigi ako parang ganun po I mean that's the only mindset you really can have to make it otherwise you're never mm-hmm. you're never gonna try you're never gonna release your videos or, or really go out and do stuff so at saka sobrang dami pong discouragement sa'yo from the outside hindi magtitiwala sa'yo so you only have yourself talaga that's true. 
was the biggest discouragement coming from your family or your friends or someone else? Because for me, it was like my best friends. <laughs> they like made fun of me. They made me feel stupid. But more than anything, it was myself. I was just so fearful of just judgment from other people. And that's why I, it took me more than a year to upload these videos that I filmed. It's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Ako din po yung mga ibang tao siguro kasi after nung sa school stuff ko with my mom mm -hmm. sobrang supportive niya na eh. my dad sobrang supportive nila lahat pati friends ko so ang pinaka problema ko lang talaga is yung ibang tao ganyan sinasabi nila mm -hmm. sobrang terrifying nun for me If you liked what you saw and you want to listen to the full episode then download Spotify and follow us at Superhuman with Will Dasovich it's completely free it's linked below and easy to use